Hey guys, Weeknight Ace here. Now, I don't usually do videos like this, but I'm taking a couple of days off. I'm over here at the coast doing a little fishing. But I saw a news article this morning that really got my attention. You know, Major League Baseball has been considering letting a robot or some kind of automated system called Balls and Strikes for a while. And uh, I'll let you know what I think about that in just a minute. But in Pennsylvania this week, uh, they played their first game using this system. It was a minor league game. And what got my attention, and the reason I'm making this video, because you might say, well, what has that got to do with slow pitch softball, right? This is slow pitch softball school. Well, it's what the starting pitcher said in an interview after the game. What he said was this. He said he had never had so many strikes call for pitches that were thrown up in the strike zone. Usually when he threw the high pitches, they were called for balls. And I said, well, what do you think about that? And the reason why is this, is because whenever you put an objective measuring device on it, it takes that human element out and it takes that bias out. For Well, here's the deal, you know, umpires, they stick together. So even though the strike zone might be say five or six, seven inches above the belt, if no one will call that pitch above the belt to strike, there's not going to be one umpire that sticks his head out and says, well, that's really a strike because, you know, that's what it says in the rule book. The main thing I wanted to, to make a note of here was how that relates to what we've talked about before, and that is in slow pitch softball, umpires having a tendency not to give you that six foot or that six foot six inch uh, pitch. They want to call that illegal because they say, oh, it's, it's you know, it's too low, when really it isn't. So... And I'm not ragging on umpires. I mean, it's just human nature. You, you want to stick together. For example, if, if no umpire will call that pitch under seven feet legal, well, no one's going to stick their head up and say, hey, you know, that pitch is really, you know, six foot six inches, so I'm going to call. They're not going to do that, just like in baseball. The umpires are not going to call a pitch higher than what they traditionally call, regardless of what the rules say. So this is an illustration and, and a point to you as a, as a pitcher in slow pitch softball is this is part of that uh, the way you deal with your relationship with your local umpire. Now, I'm, I'm happy to say that it seems like to me most local umpires are a little better than the ones at the high level. Now, I'm not going to call any names, but this is one thing that really irritates me. If you've ever watched any of these games or tournaments, you know, these national championship tournaments for slow pitch softball, it's to the point where it's unwatchable. I mean, you watch one of those games, you look in the stands, there's hardly anyone there. In our local league games, there's more people there watching our games than at these so-called national tournaments. And I'll tell you why. It is boring. It's just turned into a, a home run derby. Because these, these umpires, they're letting the hitters basically call the game. Now, you will see occasionally the pitcher will get a token strike here and there, you know, maybe on the first pitch. But you will never see a hitter get called out on a taken strike. Because once that hitter gets a strike, that strike zone tightens up, it turns into a batting tee. That's essentially what happens. And, and for me personally, I think that's just very boring. That's taken, that's taken the game away from the defense. And in any case, I think that fortunately, on the local level, I don't see that. I see the guys on the local level, the umpires, they call pretty good zones pretty, pretty much, except I would say that low pitch, and that's more of that traditional thing that, hey, you know, if it's, if there's any, you know, if it's close, then, then I'm not gonna call it a, a strike, or I'm gonna call it illegal. So, but in any case, now back to this deal of, you know, robo umpire. Now, I'm not really for that. For, for game situations. You know, if they want to use that for evaluation uh, for, for, for the umpires, if they want to use it for training or for, you know, advancement, all those kinds of things, that's, that's great with me. But you don't want to take the human element out of the game. And I'll tell you why. There was a game um, a few weeks ago between the Toronto, and, Toronto Blue Jays and the Yankees. And uh, the, the umpire... You, you can look this up. I'm not going to call his name, but the umpire, it, it looks like he missed a bunch of calls, okay? So, but in any case, it's, it's a big controversy. Now, had that game been called by a robo-umpire, do you think there'd be as much interest? No. I mean, there might be a controversy about the policy, but there wouldn't be that, you know, that human interaction, that, that, that human interest side of it. So, I, I'm not for that. But in any case, hey, I promise next week I will get this video finished, video four in my series Slow Pitch Power Pitching, 
So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, I've got to go do some fishing. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you up next time. Bye.